Okay, let's try it again. I'm telling you guys every day, 2.30, this happens. I don't know what it is. We might have to find a new time to go, uh, go live. I don't know what it is. It's very, very strange, but it seems like every day about 2.30, the internet starts to waver. And I'm wondering if that's just like the time that everybody's on. Hi, Lynn, again. <laughs> you guys are so sweet for coming back, because trust me, 2.31, I know, Joanne, I, I tried. I really tried. Uh, hi, Joy Seaforth. We're still talking about your stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I, I flew away for a second because my internet said, nope, finished. And I went, because ah, literally, I should just be used to it now. Uh, hi, Rhonda. Hi, Susan. Hi, guys. Um, all right, look what I found. I'm so happy. The glasses are back, but look, there's such a horrible reflection on them. We've decided, and by we, I mean me. Me and the mouse in my pocket, we've decided. Look at, there's no glare on these. Uh, hi, Kathy Boyd, hi, Vivian, hi, Debbie, uh, Sandra, Natalie. Uh, I meant try that time at 2.31. Uh, who's from Buffalo? Oh, Kelly Seelover, my distant cousin, hi. Uh, it's 5.30 here in New York, could do, could be like a rush hour. Oh, it could be, it could be anything. Uh, hi, Melanie. Hi, Nancy Evans. Um, Kristen Cartagena. Is it Cartagena G or is it Cartagena G? Uh, I'm so confused by that, but Kristen, thank you so much. I said, you know, I've got big plans tonight. I gotta go to the post office. So might as well, you know, take my slippers off and get out, get on about my business for that. Uh, yes, I found my glasses. I was super happy. Um, hi, hi, Pamela. Hi, Pat Crabtree was just wrapping presents a minute ago to get all that stuff out. Mary, mom, you're back. Oh, you guys are just getting so checked out by now. Hi, mom. Hi, Rose. Um, yeah, these two in a days are killers for me, you guys. I'm sure it seems like it's no big deal, but that is, that's a lot of pressure to just be, you know, on. And not only that, it's that 30 minute one that um, is so hard for me because I'm not used to just Ah, and it makes me crazy, and I always feel like it makes you guys crazy. Um, the H is silent. Kristen, the H is silent. Where's an H? Gar Carta Cartagena. Oh, Cartagena. Okay, the G is silent. Cartagena. Okay, good. I'm glad to know that. Okay, you guys, that little uh, topiary. Uh, hi, Lori. No, I, I left for a second. Cartagena. Okay, got it. Thank you. I, I don't want to call you something that's wrong. Um, Kathy Hess, thank you. I, <laughs> you think I have a lot of energy? This is what happens. I'm usually done. I go sit out on my fire pit for uh, about an hour or so, and then I you know, get on with the rest of my life. Okay, guys, I loved this. It's so not what we do, but it's so what we do, isn't it? Oh, Kristen, thank you. you. Yes, I am master crafter, master crafter, craft queen. Yes, I am, thank you. Uh, do I look calm, Chris? Because sometimes I get off there. I know I'm always grateful that nobody can hear me after I hit finish because I usually do, uh, it is, Nancy Lewis, you know, it is a big deal. It's a lot, it's a lot to pull off. It's, you know, some people only go, I used to only do it like once every couple weeks. Uh, but I love the topiary so much. And you guys know, uh, I was left to my own defenses, so I did some more uh, distressing of the frame, which I absolutely love. And I added that cute little um, bird's nest up there in the corner. It, it had to have something to balance the bird. And of course I did diamond dust. And then the other thing I did was pull some of these for you guys to tell me Knock it off, Debbie, knock it off, or does it need it? Oh, I can almost see in the camera, it's like, no. Where is the bling? Uh, right here, little crown, crown on the bird. That's, oh, there's always something on it. Uh, you love the topiary, the checks brought it to life. Yes, 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 
You have a necklace like that and you love, what am I wearing? Oh, thank you, I do too. Okay, so probably no, since nobody said anything about that. But you guys know I love to make these little banners. And then, what do we think of that? Still no? Okay, uh, there must be a bad lag today. Everybody loved the tapiri. Oh, the half pots, Nancy Lewis. They're so easy to find. They're at Hobby Lobby. Well, I say that now. Um, I usually find, oh, okay, so I know we're there at Michael's too. And Michael's, they have that one wall by the flower department, at least in mine, and it has the patio paint, the outdoor paint, and that's where the little, um, okay, no, no, everybody's saying no. Uh, so what, that's where they have the half pot. <laughs> Look, the camera still turned. Drives me insane. One of these days, I'm just going to come back the regular way and tell you guys, J nope, get over it. It's not, it's not working. Uh, so really, you guys, because then, you know, I can't stop. Then I started, then I start, this is what I've been doing for one hour. I run around the house and try and find some, something. And then I was thinking, not that, because it cut off, but I was thinking, what about just one word that says like, I don't know, what would be a word that would have to do with a bird? Um, something about dreaming or, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right. All right. Oh, you guys like the banner. Hold on, hold your horses. Do you like, trim those twigs? <laughs> Cheryl, I will. <laughs> uh, all right, do we like that kind of banner? Or, which is not really a banner. Or do we like this? But of course, I would have one that's like typed up. I was just messing around. And you guys, I there's a video on <laughs> somewhere on Studio MD, how to make these banners. Or actually, I'll just show you today because they're so simple. Um, banner, yes. Banner, yes. Yes, yes. I'm floored. I am floored. Okay, I'll do a really nice banner for there. Thank you. I already took pictures and posted it, but, you know, <laughs> this will just be our secret. Um, okay, welcome to our nest. Nesting. Uh, Patty Keller, you're a genius. Yes, yes. Okay, I will. Nesting. That's a good one. Or welcome... Let me know, welcome to our nest or nesting. Which one do you guys like the best? Um, okay, so because we're talking about it real quick, let me show you how to make these. For those of you who have never made one before, I'm looking for a piece of cardstock real quick. I just put it all away, did I? Hold on, uh, no, I have a piece right here. Okay, look, oh, look what it just happens to be. A little piece of uh, McKinsey Child's cardstock, pretty much. Um, okay, uh, what did we say, nesting or? Uh, happy spring banner. Okay, but do we want it to say nesting or uh, do we want it to say, um, let's see, nesting or welcome to our nest? Or our nest, maybe just our nest. Um, okay, so you guys, here's my um, cardstock, amazing cardstock. Just take some, okay, nesting, yes to the banner. Okay, we're definitely doing the banner. So you just take some of this to Office Max. You would take like McKinsey Child's wrapping paper. Welcome to our nest, okay? Take some McKinsey Child's wrapping paper to your local, um, uh, you know, Office Max, Alpha Graphics, something like that. Welcome to our, uh, to, no banner, too much writing. Wow, okay. All right, well, we'll have to keep seeing, we gotta see who wins. Anyway, to make these bat banners, you guys, these are so easy. So just go to Office Max or Alpha Graphics. Take some of Blessed Nest. I like that one, Stacy. I like that one a lot. Uh, Stacy said, "Bless this nest." Yeah, I like all those. Our nest is cute too. Okay, I'll we'll come up with something. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I gotta finish my sentence. Go to Office Max or Alpha Graphics and. Um, Take some McKinsey Child's wrapping paper or whatever wrapping paper, any, anything that you have that you love and have them put on cardstock, white cardstock. So simple. Heaviest, um, the heaviest stuff they have. Okay, so when you make those little banners, you want a, you know, thinner piece. Okay, it's really hard, you guys. So as you go, you fold it over just a little bit on each end, same amount on each end. Okay, so all I did was fold over a little bit on each end, so you can see it. And now, you fold it back halfway. Or a little bit more, maybe a little bit more than halfway. I'm probably three quarters of the way. Isn't that adorable? 
So all you do is fold it back on itself once. You guys, I got tricks. I got tricks to, uh, for days. All right, so then all you do is make a little, oh, how about you guys wanna join the show? Uh, make a little fishtail, dovetail, whatever those things are called. And now you have a perfect banner. How cute is that, you guys? Uh, Colleen, you enjoyed the class yesterday? Thank you. Yeah, we had a good class. You guys really paid attention and did really well. Okay, come on. I am full of, I am full of great ideas. <laughs> okay, so that's how you make little banners. Isn't it so cute? So easy, cardstock, especially if it's like a, um, a vintage-y kind of cardstock, even better. Okay, so there's your banners. Kathy Spang, are you here? Hi, Diana. Uh, hi, Diane. Uh, Deborah Townsend. Um, okay, so I'm going to work on that for the bird. Uh, I'm not going to do it because I know you guys are going to say no, but sometimes I like to just look at other stuff. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, it does kind of look like there's like big spider legs coming out of this thing. So I will. I'll fix that. All right, guys. Welcome to Product Testing Tuesday, where we do stuff. Uh, you got tricks for days, too? <laughs> we do stuff that nobody else wants to do is what I'm thinking, but we do stuff. Hi, Susan. Hi, April. Uh, hi, Deborah Platt. Uh, Blessed Nest. I think that's the winner. I really like that one, Cindy Pro. Um, Marion Brinkley, you like to check banner? Well, nope. We're not going to do it. Okay. Little Debbie and I are here today. And did, did I show you guys? If you didn't see the previous, the topiary deal, um, this is what was underneath it. And I really didn't know it. When I first saw it, I thought, um, oh, that's just a cow picture. And then when I took the whole thing apart, I realized somebody hand painted it. And that's what a most fabulous job she did, Colette. So if anybody knows a Colette who's a cow painter, tell her we've, tell her we've got her, her cow. <laughs> And so we'll mail it to her. She wants it back. If not, wouldn't this be something we can do a fun project with? And then you guys just go find, you know, your own Colette. Your own Colette who paints cows. Uh, Stacy Nightingale, off the subject. Oh, you found the crown frogs. Oh, good. Yeah, those are so fun. Donna uh, Suga, Sugawara? Sugawara? Nice. Uh, welcome to as 10 nesting has three and the other has eight. Welcome to our nest. That is a lot of words, though. Um, okay, guys. <sighs> We're just going to take a breather for one second. If I had a glass of wine here, I'd be taking a wine break. But um, you got to forgive me. I've, it's like today's been a day. Part of drilling crown on the count all we could, Stacy, and do something with it. Okay, product testing Tuesday. Here we go. Uh, so before I get to that, you guys know this is our giveaway tomorrow. Is everybody excited about that? And do you love, 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 hold on. Are you sick yet? There we go. Do you love the uh, gold crown? So it was just my silver crown, uh, the big silver crown that I painted gold where I could, but I didn't go over the diamonds because you don't want to do that. So um, yeah, the sign's giving away tomorrow. So as soon as we hang up, you guys are going to be the first to know, not that it matters, but you're the first to know, um, our question for tomorrow, and don't answer it here, just don't answer it yet. Uh, yes, the Topiary Debbie Hicks will be in the auction. Um, don't answer it yet. Wait till I get off of here and I get a chance to post um, a picture of it again. Uh, today's question for you to answer for tomorrow's giveaway is, what, so you can start thinking about it. I'm just giving you a little, you know, teacher's pats heads up. Um... What food do you love that others gag or cringe about? I'm gonna tell you mine right now. I'll say it again tomorrow. Liverwurst. I love Braunschweiger liverwurst with just uh, like, I know, the sandwich stuff. It's because I'm from Buffalo, from upstate New York. Uh, so uh, like Braunschweiger, you know what that is? I don't even know. It looks like pate or something. It's probably disgusting, but I cover it in mustard on a uh, tortilla. <laughs> It's so weird, and I love it so much. So uh, anyway, be thinking about what food you love. That I, because I know right now half of you just went. 
Uh, if you remember a video my mom and I did a long time ago, my mom said something about that my stepdad loves sauerkraut. And in the video, I literally went, I mean, I it just the thought of sauerkraut gags me. Okay, so we have two fun um, different products we're testing today. <laughs> So, Kristen, you don't like Braunschweiger? Uh, Carol, you like Braunschweiger with mayo. I've never tried that. Um, yeah, Cheryl, most people hate it. But I think all of us Debbies like it anyway. Okay, so we, we've had so much uh, conversation. Uh, you wanted a B, Eleni? Uh, sorry, I know, we couldn't find one. I only had the big one, or today we're going to make some. So we might like it better, and if we do, I will pop off the crown and put on the B, I promise. You guys know how I am. Okay, so um, Micheline Darren likes it too. I know, I love it. Okay, Zinser123, we're going to test some primers today. And not only that, we're going to do a little tiny craft. So just hang out, settle in, don't get... Put your panties in a wad, because we're going to be here for a minute or two. Uh, oh, Tracy, your husband loved it, too. Uh, Carol Davis. Oh, my mom is adorable. Thank you. She's way, way more adorable than I am. Uh, okay, so Dixie Bell Boss and Dixie Bell Slick Stick. Okay, so this is three different primers. Uh, one of our savvy sisters came over today and said the Zinser 123 did not work at all for her. And so I said, okay, here, I just bought some Slick Stick. Go home, try that, and see if it works. And I'm sure it will because it worked famously for me. This is all stuff. Uh, Rick and Annette, whoever that is, if you love Braunschweiger with grape jelly, I think I'm going to gag. That sounds horrendous. Uh, that sounds so bad. No, and then that funny Nancy Sullivan, I don't like liver and onions at all. I only like um, liverwurst. Okay, enough conversation about liverwurst. So anyway, don't you guys love these questions? Because that's how we get to know each other and find out stuff. I just think it's funny. Oh gosh, I just saw popcorn with ketchup and I had to look away. Uh, so let's start like we did with the gold. We start with the one that we think is the worst. And, oh no, we start with the one that's the best and then we compare everything else to it. So... We're talking about metal today because we were doing our tea sets. So we were talking about metal and look at this, you guys. This is going to be so adorable. A little soap stand and I got it at Goodwill the other day and I think it was, uh, I, I'm not even kidding, it was one of the orange tickets and I think it ended up being like a dollar or two dollars, something like that. And it's super heavy metal and I loved it and I can't wait to uh, Mackenzie the whole thing out. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful and it will be in our auction. Then we'll talk about the auction in a second. So today I thought, oh, perfect. Let's try some different, uh, let's try some different primers on it and see what works the best for sure, hands down. Okay, so let's start with the uh, Slick Stick because, um, let me get some paintbrushes over here. I forgot to grab a whole bunch. We're gonna start with the slick stick because we know, well, we don't know, but we think uh, from what we've heard from everybody else and, see, uh, and Debbie Boucher, that um, the slick, the, the Dixie Bell slick stick, which you can buy from uh, dealers with Chalk Couture, I believe, or we have a gal, Debbie Boucher, here, her real name is Booker, but we call her Boucher, uh, who sells it, um, or you can get it on Amazon. But I was shocked. I thought I spent, uh, I thought I spent a lot less on Amazon. Uh, I spent less with Debbie Booker than I did on Amazon. So she might be your gal, you guys. It, it really, it was a great deal for me. So anyway, all right. So somebody else said, and I wish I knew who it was so I could give you credit right now because it was a genius idea. And if it was you, raise your hand, <laughs> raise your hand, let us know. But I had such a hard time opening this jar the other day that I thought I need to do what whoever said to do was when you're working with paint, now I should have done this when I first got it, but when you're working with paint like this, put a little piece of painter's tape over the top of your paint, whatever you're using, so that you're wiping it back on the paint or on the, uh, what is this called? Mm, painter's tape and not on your jar, which causes your lid to stick. Yet another idea, another genius idea that I didn't have, but it is a great idea. Okay, oh, and then look at that. Isn't that awesome? I wish I knew who it was. If it, if it was you, seriously, raise your hand. 
No Dixie Bell Paint Company. What? Uh, Dixie Bell. Okay, I don't know. Oh, oh, maybe it's cheaper through Dixie Bell Paint Company. I don't know. Uh, okay, so uh, Dixie Bell Boss. Oh no, Dixie Bell Slick Stick. You guys are confusing me. I'm not gonna look up for a minute. Okay, so look. Uh, first time, good coverage for sure. Like it's not. You, it's was I off screen the whole time, you guys. Somebody needs to be, I need to have uh, earphones on and somebody go, um, hey, 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 Mrs. Rig, you're, you're off, you're off kilter again. Uh, okay, look, one coat, honestly, Dixie Bell slick stick, pretty slick, not kidding, pretty slick with metal. Metal is the worst thing to cover. I could just keep going because it's working so well. All right, Dixie Bell slick stick, you're a winner so far. Uh, Dixie Bell Slick Stick. I bought an eight ounce for $18. I bought an eight ounce on Amazon for $22. So it's expensive, you guys, but it's worth it. Uh, be sure you don't wash excess down your drain. Uh, whoever said that said it again. So I think it said don't, it might be too late. <laughs> it might be too late. Uh, we might have to leave the house soon. I put Vaseline around the inside. It keeps the lid from sticking. Vicky, genius. All right, that's genius too. But um, I kept half of my paper, which is also a good idea, on my Dixie Bell Boss so that um, I could do that with. So I thought that was genius. Um, okay, Dixie Bell Boss, which is a primer, which is supposed to be perfect. Uh, oh, Kim Whitmore, I didn't know all this about it. Oh, Teresa Moore, it was you, yay. Okay, Teresa Moore, genius on the little painter's tape deal. That was fun. So, and now, but this thing's so full, it doesn't matter. Dixie Bell Boss, perfect for uh, wood or anything that's not shiny. Dixie Bell Slick Stick is made for metal, probably glass, shiny, shiny, shiny stuff. Don't wash excess of the slick down your drain. Okay, that's what everybody's saying now. I won't, I won't. Well, what do you do with it? I mean, how much could it really hurt to have that? I don't know. Anyway, okay, I won't, I won't. Don't get mad, I won't. Okay, here's a Dixie Bell Boss. So I can tell you just by putting it on, look, it's more translucent than, um, it's more translucent than the slick stick. I hate this camera so much. So, um, and it stinks. I'm not even gonna lie, it has a little funny odor to it. The uh, Slick Stick did not, but the Dixie Bell Boss does, so you can see um, it doesn't, uh, look it. That one goes on, the Dixie Bell Slick Stick goes on flat. This went on with a little bit of sheen, that's why it's not drying so fast. So, interesting, Dixie Bell Boss. I really bad-mouthed it the other day, I was like, no, that's just the company trying to upsell us. No, it's not. It, they're right. You need this for wood. You need slick stick for metal. Um, does anybody know? I didn't try this. Uh, I already had Annie. Thank you. I'd already stirred everything. Um, so uh, I tried it on this ceramic pitcher, and it, it, I, you cannot scratch it off at all. So I'm going to redo this huge water pitcher, but I thought... I've never had anything in one coat go ahead and take care of something, and that was the Dixie Bell Slick Stick. So I'm just gonna tell you, go get it. It's amazing. Can somebody tell me, though, is it okay to use the Slick Stick on wood? Would it make a difference? Um, or is it just like a cost thing? You wouldn't wanna spend that kind of money on wood. So let me know about that. Because I know the Dixie Bell Boss is great, great, great for wood. The Dixie Bell Slick Stick is made for shiny metal stuff like that. Dixie Bell Boss, not made for uh, metal and shiny stuff. We're just showing you just, you know, for kicks, because that's what we do. It's Product Testing Tuesday. Okay, one more. This is Zinser 123. Now, this is just like a regular house primer, um, something that I've been using around here for years and years and years. Never thought a thing of it. Just, it, I always thought, well, that doesn't work very well. It takes a bunch of coats. Well, now I know that the slick stick is the way to go so far. Okay, so this is Zinser 123. Um, 
on metal. Um, I'm gonna tell you, on the metal, it's as translucent as the Dixie Belle Boss, but it went on a little bit better. So that is really good to know. For a good solid primer, I'm sure Dixie Belle Boss is a great product and I would never want to take anything away from it, but this is the reason we do product testing Tuesday. I think that on wood, let's just try it because I just happen to have, look at that, it's just like magic. I have a piece of wood right here. Let's try the two. Let's try the Dixie Bell Boss and let's try, I'm gonna do it on the bottom here, and let's try the Zinser 123 on wood. And that way we'll know, are we spending a fortune? Um, which, although it wasn't that expensive, it was $16 for 16 ounces. So a dollar an ounce, let's just see. This is a quart for $13.99. So by far much better deal if it really does work better. Okay, so here's the Zinser 123 on wood. Um, it's covering, but you can see it's still translucent. So I'm not blown away, good to know. Uh, where's my, my watering can is so far away today. Let me get it over here. Look at this. This, this shows you how busy I was today because I wash my brushes every night. So this was a crazy day. Okay, now let's do the Dixie Belle Boss. And I'm going to, are you guys letting me know? Uh, yeah, you have gotta do product testing Tuesday. That's how we found out, you guys. I was sick to my stomach about the Martha Stewart Gold and we couldn't find it. And then we did it in actual testing and found out that, that the liquid leaf, wherever that is, here it is, that the liquid leaf is so close, it was not a big difference at all. And so we saved all of ourselves a whole lot of headache. All right, so here's the Dixie Belle Boss. Now this is just their regular wood primer. Um, I hate that you guys can't feel it too, what I'm doing, but it's, it's hard to explain on this one. All right, this is Dixie Belle Boss. This is Zinser. The Dixie Belle went on a little bit smoother. I don't know why, but it did. It went out a little bit smoother. But to me, the coverage is almost exact. So I'm sorry, Dixie Bell Boss, you have a great slick stick, but for the money, if you have the boss and you like having nice products around, which I do, uh, but I also want them to work, but good to know. Zinser 123, uh, although the Dixie Bell Boss is almost dry and the Zinser 123 is still really wet. So I think it's a toss up of that one, you guys, for sure. Um, but now we know, Zinser123, who's been around for quite some time, you still got a decent product and you're still very inexpensive. And so thank you, Zinser, for your, for your little project. And uh, yeah, Zinser123 primer, you get it at um, Walmart, uh, you know, the big box stores, Home Depot, or Lowe's, and I'm fairly certain, Joanne, you don't have any of those stores in Canada, so we'll be sending you paint now, I'm sure. All right, I'm gonna stick it in here. You guys just get out of the way. Oops, I forgot to put the top on it. So impressed, so, 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 so impressed with the Dixie Bell Slick Stick. I can't even, I have no words. So uh, we'll put up a link for Debbie Booker. Um, I'm just gonna leave that tape in there for right now. Okay. You know, a clean desk crafter is the best crafter. Okay, I got something to show you guys too. So, you know how the birthday gifts keep on giving? It just doesn't stop around here. So if you guys are new to my page, uh, last Saturday, April 3rd was my birthday. And uh, if you're new here, you just, you get extra bonus points by sending me stuff. You know, you just do. I'm kidding, no, you don't have to, but a lot of people did, and it's still going on, and I'm just so happy. Uh, everything you should, um, oh, thank you. Okay, so this came from, I've got two things to show you about this gift. 
Um, this came from Shirley Beckett. And Shirley Beckett, if you're here, thank you so much. So uh, look at this gorgeous card. It says, this calls for mimosas. It's not even uh, Mackenzie Childs. It's made by Bird and Quill from, is it Papyrus? Pepper? Papyrus, papyrus, papyrus paper, I think. Uh, anyway, it's absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous card. I loved it so much. So, um, Shirley Beckett, thank you so much. I will be, oh, the inside, uh, oh, it says, this calls for mimosas, and then the inside is, is, is uh, dang, you should have birthdays more often. So, uh, I'm gonna be doing something with that card because I loved it so much, and look at how gorgeous the envelope was. Oh, pink and gold check. And in my beautifully wrapped uh, black and white stripe and leopard um, bag. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, how fantastic is this? You know, I travel like crazy. It's this huge leopard tote. I mean, it's huge. You know what I'm using it for today? Putting everybody's uh, presents in for uh, the post office because look how cool I'm going to look. And then with a little, um, you know, carry... Carrier clutch. Anyway, that came, uh, I just opened it this morning. It came yesterday. Shirley Beckett, thank you so, so much. I love that. Okay, so here we go with our next product. You guys are gonna be excited about this. I've got two, I've got two more products. So, um, remember I told you, so in. Uh, okay, so let's try. Okay, this is from Debbie Bush Booker, Bouchier. What can, it, does anybody care if we call her Bouchier? Because it's just more fun. Uh, this is by Redesign. Uh, so the same company that does all of these transfers. Is that correct? Oh, maybe not. I better keep my mouth shut. I don't know. Anyway, Redesign. Okay, Redesign. How do I clean your brushes with all those different products? Great question, Pam. I usually wing it. But I always have a little bit of Dawn. Uh, dish soap in all of my cans. Okay, this is our Prima. Okay, these are amazing, you guys. This is beautiful. This was only $18 from Debbie Boucher. So it's a silicone mold, and they're made for, okay, it's by Prima. And I'm gonna put it up here so you guys can see better, hopefully today. Um, they're made by Prima, and they're made for uh, like resin, clay, mostly clay with Prima, but they, they also work with resin. Guess what else they work with? hot glue. So we're going to try that today too. So let's try it first with clay. I'm not going to try it with resin because um, it's an ordeal. And there's another lady who has a resin, uh, you know, like we do black and white. She does resin. It's uh, Rosie's Creative Cottage. So we'll let her teach uh, resin. But if you're interested in resin, Rosie's Creative Cottage, go there for, for that. So um, here is the clay I got. Now, I don't know if this is the right clay, but you guys know Product Testing Tuesday is all about us testing stuff that we haven't done. Oh, it's good for chocolate and dough. Okay, good. Okay, good to know. See, you guys probably don't need me to do this because you guys have already done this, but I always say it's my show and I don't care. <laughs> You're gonna watch me do it anyway. But there are, I'm sure there's others out there that have not seen this before. So I'm using Creative Paper clay, modeling paste. I got all of this on Amazon. So it's just uh, called paper clay. I used, I just like Googled clay molding or something like that. Now you just don't, here's what else I learned. You don't need a whole lot. And if I do this wrong, you guys, just know I probably will. I probably will. I should get air dry clay, Fran. Tell me about that. Tell me why. You should put cornstarch in the mold before I do anything. Ah. <sighs> Not today, Annie. Not today. I don't have time for all that today. Yeah. Oh, that it is a new T-shirt. It's uh, it's my show, and I got I got massive tricks. Okay. So again, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just thought I needed to do this. I thought it looked professional for me to do this. Okay, Rose. Good, Rose. You and I. It's you and I, sister. We're going to watch. We're going to watch this together and see. So let's first put it in a B because I needed a B. And so all I'm doing is taking some clay. Again, Rose, don't pay attention to me. Wait till you see a real crafter do this because Product Testing Tuesday is just fun and funny. We just kind of see what we've got. 
Where did I get all my transfers? I got my transfers, uh, Donna, I got my transfers some online, the same ones, um, but then I also got some from Debbie Boucher. Debbie Boucher, if you're here, for God's sakes, you owe me money. I mean, for week, <laughs> you need to start pay, paying us to be your sponsor. Uh, put baking powder in the mold and brush around so the clay will come out easier. Okay, Carol, good information a couple minutes ago, sister. Uh, Dollar Trees have air dry clay. It dries hard, so there's no need for a kiln. Oh, Tina, did you think for one second we were going to be kilning this? Are, was I supposed to? <laughs> oh, no. No, I had no intention of doing anything other than just... Uh... <gasps> you guys, look! <laughs> I know, I get so excited because I haven't done this yet. <gasps> it totally worked! Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I am so happy right now. I, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. You roll the mold to pull up the clay. It'll come out easier. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, kill me not. Okay. That would be a great t-shirt. Kill me not. Like that's not going to happen. Cause I was going to write a book with a girlfriend a while ago and it was going to be kale. No, not kale. No, it was going to be kale. Just kale. No. Uh, Use a credit card to wipe off the excess clay. It worked. I know. I'm so happy right now. Okay, I guess you guys aren't as excited as I am, but I was super excited. All right, now you guys tell me, now what do I do with it? Do I have to let it dry for days? I hope not. Or now, I know, it's a B, and I was just going to paint it gold. You guys, my whole world has just opened up like you have no idea. Uh, get the credit card out because I'm pretty sure we're going to start doing some of these fun things. Uh, is there a particular one you're looking? Uh, oh, okay. Do the crown, do the crown, do the crown. Okay. Um, yes, I want to scrape the excess off, but nobody told me how. So, oh, okay. Scrape the clay off the flat top of the mold, and then it'll just be a B. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Because I, you know, when all else fails, never read the directions. I totally nailed it, Rose. I'm so happy, Rose. You got to go, you got to come over and play with me and do this, because this is very cool. All right, let's try the other side of B. And what I love is that, all right, now you guys tell me also, when I'm pushing it in like this, am I pushing it too hard? Because I see where it's starting to maybe, not crack, but kind of wrinkle. So if you guys have done this, do I have to bake it? Okay, Joanne White, if I use the air dry, I can use it immediately. Julie, just overnight, I don't have to put it in the oven. I Or I could just, Carol Palmer, that's my kind of gal. Uh, heck, just glue it to a project and go. Cut around the bee, then let it air dry. Okay, all right, all right. I'm excited, you guys. I feel like this was my bonus day from you all. Okay, so I've got it in there. And now I take my hotel key. I hope this is right, you guys. I'm gonna take my hotel key. Uh-oh, okay, hold on. I bet I have way too much. <laughs> so much. I think that's probably part of the problem. Let me get a little bit of that. Down. I'm probably pushing it in too hard, too. I don't think I need to do all that. Hmm. I don't know about this, you guys. Don't you love it when I just get all involved in my own craft and stop talking? Where's the clay from? I got that. Oh, I don't have to use an oven? Okay, thank God. I was really, I was honestly panicked about that. I thought, oh man, I blew this whole deal today. Oh, all right. I see what you're saying. I used, I didn't need all that clay. Oh, Rose, hold, hold your horses, Rose. Wait till you see this. Okay, now I roll. Now it makes, Laura Craft, did I do it right? You need to fill the mold with clay. Use a credit card to scrape off the excess. Okay, that's what I did. Push as hard as you want. And it could also dust it with cornstarch. Yeah, we got that one. All right. 45 degrees and... Pull towards you. Uh, 45 degrees, pull towards me. Is this towards? <laughs> Seriously. All right, hold on. Uh oh, his legs came up, came off. Nope. How do you get it out, you guys? Uh, it was the, it's the, it's the stinking cornstarch, corn isn't it? <laughs> That's what I didn't do. You really ought to read the package that you get that day out of because they all kind of look alike. Uh, Shoot, you guys. Well, this one's not coming out as... Oh, wait. Maybe it just had to dry for a second. 
Well, I blew that one. Pretend like that didn't happen. We'll edit this out. Look at how great I am at this stuff. So, but now I would have to try and cut around it, I guess. Anyway, it totally works, you guys. Go get all this stuff. Put it in the freezer again. <laughs> again, again and again and again. Okay, but you guys know it takes all the fun out of it if I know how to do this ahead of time. I mean, seriously, come on. I make the mistake so you don't have to. Annie Richards, yes. Uh, okay, yes, we will do... Uh, from now on, I'll do cornstarch, but let's just tell all your friends. It, it totally worked. She was amazing. And I'll crop this out and only show this. Turn it upside down. Use gravity to roll it out. It's tricky. Yeah, I got to keep practicing on that. So anyway, you guys know me. I've got a little bit of an addictive personality. So I went crazy and bought more. So wait till you see all the pretty ones I got because I just want you to see an idea of what you can do with these. These are trims that you could use on frames or anything. How funny is this? I don't even know how to do it yet, and I'm out buying every one I can get my hands on. Look at this one. Cannot wait to do that one. We're going to do that on something. The birds in gold. Love that so much. Um, big, big flowers. Big flowers. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So just little doodahs for furniture. Um, and look at this, like the, look at like the cameo and everything. Don't you love it? So, um, those, and I got some more even. I ordered one from, um, China that already came in <laughs> and it lights up because I need, I need to see everything. I need to know everything that's going on with everything. All right, here, we're going to try the, the glue gun. Okay. Everybody says, once you try glue, you'll never go back. Uh, just wait till you try the hot glue. All right, now, hot glue is kind of a big deal. So we're gonna do the crown, and then, how do I clean these out, you guys? Do I just wash them? Wait till you try the hot glue. All right, I'm excited. Okay, we're gonna try the hot glue. <sighs> have you guys all done this? Do I have to put cornstarch or something? Uh, which gold leaf other than Martha Stewart do you use? Great question, who was that? Uh, Marsha Ford? Um, we use... Liquid Leaf by Plaid, classic gold. You can get it all day long at Michael's, Amazon. Amazon is more expensive than Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Okay, I'm excited about the hot glue. I heard you can use hot glue in silk modes. Yeah, you can. I will. <laughs> well, we'll see. All right, Rose. If you've never done clay, I'm going to take a gander that you've never done hot glue either. All right, I'm, I'm giving this guy one more chance today. So, hot glue is amazing. All right, just soap and water to wash. No, no cornstarch. Clean out western. Okay, here we go. Because you know if you guys give me too much information, then I, it's no good. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right, all right. I'm just pumping this sucker full of glue. I'm trying to get in all the crevices. Very, see how delicate I can be? That's a shock, isn't it? Do you see all the heat coming from this? Is this OSHA approved? I don't think it is. I definitely do not think this is an OSHA approved deal. All right, hold on. <gasps> Oopsie. All right, no, that's good. I guess you have to do that. You kind of just move it around. Ooh, and it's, uh, for the record, it's like uh, boiling hot underneath it where I just touched. Let me get it to move around so it's on everything. <gasps> you guys, this, this might rock my world right here. This might be everything I've ever wanted to know in my whole life. Let me get a little stick and see if I can just, is this the right thing to do, you guys? Yeah, that's how you do it. The cheap glue, a cheap glue stick works great for what? I don't know, I don't think you're supposed to touch it. Um, note to self, don't touch it. Just don't touch it, don't, just leave it alone. Now what do we do, you guys? Do we just sit here? I am very delicate, I'm like a, what is it, delicate like a china doll? Uh, like a porcelain doll? Okay, so we're just going to, well, first I'm going to pull my blouse up. Uh, okay, hold on. While your hot glue is, uh, is wet, you might want to bounce your tray off the table a time or two to get the air bubbles in to move. Okay, good. It's not really, not really working. I think I waited too long. I looked up and waited too long. Uh, Kim Whitmore, that was a great idea, but I waited too long. A colored glue stick, Deborah Harris? 
Okay, all right. Lori Craft, do you know what, that you just said that? I tried my regular one and it didn't get that melty either. I know exactly what you mean. It took, let's just face it, it takes a professional Lori Craft to do what I do. And it takes a professional with professional tools. So, yep, the big glue gun did work. The little one didn't. I can see where I missed a couple spots, so don't be too disappointed in me yet. Let's just wait, because you guys know, I in the end, I almost always pull out a winner. Never. Uh, set it aside for a few minutes. All right, I can, but what, what should we talk about? What else should we do? That was, oh, no, 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 we have one more deal. All right, you're right, let's put it aside. You guys, though, is it going to burn through this thing? Because it is boiling, boiling hot on the bottom. Put it in the freezer. The Dollar Tree has glitter glue, okay. Uh, now you have to do what you don't like, be patient. Tina, you know, I cannot do that. All right, I'm just gonna put it aside. I'm gonna put it on top of the cow over here. How do I keep my clay from drying out? Just keep it in a bag like I did? Is that all I have to do? Somebody tell me if, I, if I'm wrong on that. Did I mention I'm starving? <laughs> if not me, I've not eaten one thing all day today. So hungry. But I'm not hangry. Uh, I'm just hungry. Okay, so I just happen to have this darling little thing that I got at, you are looking at the bottom of the mold. Um, they are oven proof. Oh, okay, well, thank you all. Thank you, Julia, for making me look like a moron. Um, oh, wrong one, hold on, I got it. This is really bugging me. So anyway, I found this darling little, um, I use, uh, if, if we were in my kitchen right now, you would see I have my balsamic, I have my oil, I have a couple of cute little McKinsey uh, salt and pepper shakers. So that's what I keep on this right by my oven so it's right handy whatever I need. Well, I, I was at Goodwill the other day and found this for $2.99 and I thought, oh, it's adorable. I'm gonna do something really incredible with it. I, I haven't done anything with it. So we're gonna use it today. I will do something incredible with it and I promise this is gonna be absolutely gorgeous. But I just, I had no big, plans for it yet. Um, so I want to show you something else. You can get these huge, um, is it wall cuts? Um, I'll have to look it up and I'll let you guys know. I got this online on Amazon. I want to say it's wall cuts. It's maybe not. Um, it's just a wall transfer. So I thought, oh, perfect. That'll be fun. Let's try that. And then I got it and it's not at all a transfer, it's a sticker. Like, I'm gonna put that on something, I don't know. I mean, if it was a nursery and, you know, the baby was only gonna be in there a year, I might use it. But anyway, I was just gonna say, I'm gonna tell you what it was, don't get it. it in the picture, it looked like it was gonna be huge and I was extremely disappointed all around. So I'll put up a link. So I'm telling these these people, you better get your, uh, your products in in top notch because we're gonna we're gonna nail you on them. When you close up your seal the bag with tape and then place it in a Ziploc bag. Okay, uh, Latanya, thank you. I will go back and do that. Okay, this is from this is the sunflower transfer from Debbie Bush, Deborah Boucher Designs, and this is Dixie Bell Paint Company. So same company. So I wanted you to see I'm opening it for the first time, and it's sunflowers. It was thirty three dollars. I know that seems high. Oh, look, I got another silica pack. That's good. And you get the cute stick. I know it seems high, but wait till you see what you get with it. I mean, you get a ton of stuff with it. Look at all these different sheets. It's actually not a bad price at all, especially if you don't know how to hand paint. This is the way to go because these are amazing. And I thought what I would do is do one of these on top of my little um, whatever stand and then probably um, do something on the beads. Maybe I'm gonna paint them all black or something. And then I was going to do a black and white check on all the legs. Cause you know, we're, we're master crafters and we only do the best. Let's see. Oh, okay, so look, I have a whole choice of stuff. They're all different. I don't think I realized that. These are nice. And because I blew it one time, here's, uh, uh, I, I can't even answer it, Joanne. Um, so these, you never take the back off until you're ready to work. 
I learned that the hard way, and that's why we do Product Testing Tuesday. I took the back off thinking I was supposed to before I laid it on my project, and like long before I laid it on my project. So it was just hanging out, and it stuck to everything, and it ruined it. So I was devastated. So don't do that. Do as I, what is it? Do as I say, not as I do. I kind of like that one right there. So hold on one more. Okay, I like this page the best. You guys tell me, is it, oh, I know I'm setting myself up again, but is it this one? Is it this one? Or is it this one? One, two, one, two, one, two. Number one or number two, let me know. Staple item together, even if you cut them, then just tear, okay, all right, I will, I'll totally, uh, I, I will totally try and get on top of that. Oh good, we have Deborah Bashir. Is she ever gonna get mad at me? I don't mean to, I was like so, I just love that name and I wanted to fancy it up. All right, in the meantime, let's see how our glue's coming. It's still drying, so we're almost there. That's why we've got plenty of time. Uh, one, one, one. Oh, I'm so happy, but uh, one, two, Kim Shermont, two. Oh gosh, here we go. Uh, one. Let me cut around both of them and then let's make a better decision, I think. Let's see if that will help. But this is going to be absolutely adorable. You know, like I always say, I can see it in my eyes, but I've got for me to convince you guys and transfer it onto something is the whole other trick. Uh, lots of ones, lots and lots and lots of ones. Okay, so this one would be kind of more, let me do it towards you, like an angle. And this one would sit more It would probably have to sit more like this so it would make sense. Which one? <laughs> Number three. <laughs> Still one. Oh, is this it? Still one? Yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right. Unless you, there's a time lapse. Hopefully there's not a time lapse. Both, what do you think, I'm an overdoer? No, I think both is too much. I'm nervous about it because I was going to, I'm thinking about doing a, a stripe or something on this also. Uh, why do husbands always need wives? I don't know, Arlene, but you let him know. You let him know who's boss. I'm kidding. That's like the worst thing to ever say. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Okay, so make sure your spot is clean and dry, and it is. Okay, I am the master crafter, so I know what I'm doing. Right? I hope this is right. I kill myself every time because I, I, I'm so nervous about stuff like this. Okay, I have to make it look towards me for one second, and then I can bring it back to you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is gonna be, <gasps> can you not already see how beautiful this is gonna be? I'm excited. I really wasn't planning on this being like something cute even. I was just thinking, ah, I need something for kicks. So that's why I was gonna do this. Okay, so um, what are you putting with it? Um, what I'm going to do is probably do, um, we'll do some shading around it to make it look like it's been hand painted on. And then we'll either do some checks or stripes or something on the rest of the board. Also, if we put this like as the center character of, the, of this board, like I said, I keep other stuff on mine. So I kind of wanted something that, um, you know, wasn't overwhelming as a, um, you know, like a picture. All right, let's see, here we go. I don't know if it's too soon. Yeah, that one was. Okay, here we go, watch. <gasps> this is my other favorite thing. Can you guys see? Okay, good. And this is what they told me to do. The girls got in trouble yesterday for this. You gotta do a little bit as you go. I think I was probably supposed to cut those off, but. Yep, I better cut those off, huh? Well, that was a terrible cut job. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. 
And then you just keep going. Make sure you got every bit of it. And um, I'm burnishing as I go because that's just how really good I am at this stuff. Oops, did you see that? Pulled some up, pulled some up there. Have you guys all done this too? Yes. Let me cut this part off because I think it, it'll work better. Maybe there's like a crafting show that I should be on that's like um, crafts for <laughs> the three people in the universe who've never done what you're doing. Where are you? Uh, Alyssa, uh, Alyssa Lawler. I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona, but you can get these online. You can order from our gal or um, they're also on Amazon. I'm just, I said it, they're out there. Ugh, Joanne is killing me right now. Do you know, I'm, I'm working on no, no um, nourishment at all. I don't know why I didn't eat, I should have. I just ran out of time today. Bad time management. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that. And I'm not a huge sunflower fan, but this is cute. Do <laughs> crap for dummies. That would, would that be so funny? Crafts for dummies. I, I could totally do that. That would be hysterical. Okay. Uh, very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. What I love about these transfers, I don't know about all the other ones, but their stuff is top notch. And um, <laughs> their stuff is top notch. And I've never, I mean, look at that. I'm such a, such a bad, bad uh, transfer person on this thing. I don't know. I didn't know what I was doing. And look at how it made up for any deficiencies you might have in that area and it looks hand painted. So very, very happy with that. Um, Micheline, you're right. Such a little mom. Uh, okay. I can't stand it. I like, I'm like, okay, yeah. All right, now we're done. Let's put it aside, get back to this. Okay, so you can see the hot glue is dry and I'm going to just, oh. My goodness, hold on. I don't want you to see it yet. I need to get it perfect because I was so close. I have one little piece sticking out. Alexa, drum roll please. She was super quiet. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, Pamela Elliott, you've never done any of this? Okay, good. Uh, Arlene, uh, we have a, we have a, uh, somebody shoot Arlene Khan, uh, or Korn, uh, Debbie Boucher's info. Is that amazing? All right, let's paint it gold and let's see what happens. This is okay, right, you guys? I can paint it gold already. You have a group called All Thumbs. Oh, I might need to be in that group. Uh... Okay, so I'm using our liquid, uh, the, just the liquid leaf. I'm gonna put it on a little plate though because I'm gonna have it all over me if I don't. Let me see. I feel like today's been such a banner day. I loved our, um, absolutely loved. Oh, okay guys, do I need it now? Okay, here's a great question. How do I pop out the, um, the little spaces that um, I put too much glue in. Can I just use a tiny pair of scissors? Or will it pop out? Nope, it doesn't pop out. All right, I have like really, really fancy schmancy scissors. All right, let's see. Is this right? All right I'm gonna paint it up, get off my back, just a minute. All right, <laughs> hold on. Uh, all right, I gotta fix it up. You guys know, I'm not gonna do it if it's not right. Don't do anything half donkey. You gotta do it all the way. All right, let's see, let me get in here. It's gonna be perfect and you guys are gonna be blown away by how great Product Testing Tuesday went today. Usually we get to laugh about it for a couple days, uh, but no one's gonna be laughing about this. All right, one more and then, 
Okay, so next time I don't need to fill it so full is what I'm going to assume. Cut it out, okay, yeah, okay. They are cuticles, aren't they? Yeah, I think so, a little cuticle scissors. All right, I'm excited. Hold on, there's one more piece. I didn't see it before, but now I see it. I cannot wait. And I'm gonna use this on something today or tomorrow. All right, here we go. Can you see? Is this in the way? Is our beautiful tray in the way? Oh, for crying out loud, you guys, look. Look at what is happening right before our eyes. Oh my goodness. You guys, we've been spending so much money on crowns, which of course we'll continue to because that's what we do. But look at this and the size is perfect. And that was hot glue and it was completely dry in what? Maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Ready to go on my project. Okay, here's a question though. Can you hot glue it? This is hot glue. So what happens if I try and hot glue it to my project? Is that just a stupid question? Is that chapter one? <laughs> chapter one of our book. Um, is it okay to hot glue? Don't they know, Delia? Don't they know who I am and who you are? Um, come on, is that a crazy question? Will the hot glue burn it and it won't work? Do I need to use a different type of glue? I hope that's not a dumb question. And even if it is, I know somebody else wanted to know and so I asked it. Oh, these are incredible painted. I, I, I was impressed with the, the shape. Let me push it over here. Look at that gorgeous crown, you guys. Hot glue, you can use hot glue. Was that a dumb question? Um, I, I am so floored right now, I don't even know what to say. So floored but you know I can't stand it. So let's just go, I know it's not dry. I know we didn't, uh, wait, let's, can we just use our scissors and cut stuff? Oh yes, of course we can. Hold on. I wanna see what the bee looks like. If the clay, even when, if, if it's wet, cause we are so impatient, even if it's wet, will it still work? This is what I wanna know. And let me just tell you, these little scissors work famously on his tiny little legs. Oh, I like now I don't want to go to the post office. I just want to put my pajamas on and sit and hot glue stuff in these molds the rest of the night. Sorry, sometimes I know it's annoying when I just look down forever, but um, I got stuff going on over here. All right, let's just see. Where is it? Here it is. Are you guys so blown away? You can add tiny crystals on it too. What? Got a flathead tack to put on. Kathy at Royal Funky Junk put a flathead tack. Oh, are you guys saying put that on a candle? Yes, that's a great idea. Oh, and even with the clay wet, it still works. Oh my goodness. You guys all know, uh, forget uh, forget getting groceries or anything for your kids this week. This is mama's week to get some clay and some hot glue and some silicone molds. Cause we are going to be using these for sure in our future stuff. Not bad, not bad for an amateur, not bad at all. What a great product testing Tuesday that was. Uh, seriously, we killed it today. You guys, thank you so much. Private message me if, you know, I did something terribly wrong and you were afraid of me or ashamed <laughs> ashamed for me to tell me on here because I, I do want to do it right. I don't mind, you know, being a guinea pig once, but then I don't want to look like a moron every time after that. So um, really, really, really impressed today with what we did, loved that. We loved that now we know the Dixie Bell Slick Stick really is necessary for metal. The Dixie Bell Boss is a great product, but so is Zinsser123. So you guys make your own choice on that one. 
and I loved doing this one, and I'm going to finish it, not today, but I'll finish it tomorrow and get that done. Okay, as soon as I get off of here, guys, um, hold on. Uh, yay, okay, everybody liked it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. I did, I def felt like I nailed it today. I felt like, I feel really good about it. I feel like all my endorphins are flowing. When I get to the post, oh, I can't even figure out which shoulder my sweater's on. I'm gonna get to the post office and they're gonna be like, ma'am, have you had a great day? And I'm gonna say, I've had a great day. And they're gonna be like, somebody get the crazy one out of here. Uh, I'll post a picture of the sunflower stand when it's done, yes. But it will probably be tomorrow. Um, yes, Lenora, thank you for being here, you guys. Please try these molds. I don't make any money on anything, but Lord knows if I could, I'd be a wealthy woman. I wouldn't be sitting here doing product testing Tuesday. Uh, oh, Judy, thank you so much. Curve, hold on, curve the B while pliable. Nancy, I wanna curve the B. Why would I want to curve the bee? Answer, uh, quick, tell me, why would I want to curve the bee? Uh, it was a huge success. We've not had this much success on one product testing yet. Um, what else did we test? Oh yeah, the transfer, Debbie Boucher or Amazon on those. Prima uh, transfers, Prima, whatever, if that's the name of the company, Prima or Redesign, whatever your company name is, holy moly, you guys have exceptional products. And if anybody knows the chairman of the board or anybody, let them know I just said that out loud. Uh, yay, I hope my whole goal, Charlotte, every day is to make you laugh because you guys make me laugh. And most of the time, I just laugh at myself and pray somebody else is laughing with me. Um, yes, I'm gonna go to the post office and I'm going out to dinner. Dinner with my friend tonight. So, uh, yeah, I know, I and you guys know, my personality is so, all the time and then when I do come down my mom will tell you when I crash I crash <laughs> like you have no idea uh, my mom has a very very funny picture of me mom I don't know where that is but my mom has a really funny picture of me from the dentist when the dentist um, gave me too much because uh, I can only take a teeny bit of anything and I ended up taking twice what I should have and I was out for 48 hours and my mom had to get a wheelchair and hold my head up and it's actually a really funny picture in the dentist and the dentist people were cracking up. So uh, life's all about definitely just laughing at yourself. You have to because Lord knows <laughs> you'd be dead if you weren't. Uh, uh, yes, Jan Hunter, you got two new projects going on. Uh, call your mom. Okay. All right. Got to go, you guys. Um, but anyway... Did somebody tell me, would whoever that was, private message me about why I want to ply, be pliable with my B. Um, I'm not on tomorrow, you guys. Oh, no, I just lied. I'm totally on tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Win It Wednesday. Tomorrow we're going to announce the winner. Wow, I really thought I had a day off. I don't. Tomorrow we're going to announce the winner of this. And right now, as soon as I hang up, I'm going to post a picture of that along with our question of the day and then you'll have till 2.30, well, you really only have till 2.15 tomorrow to answer it because I got to get everything in that bowl. And uh, you only need to answer it once. You're only getting one one thing. And yes, Barbara, I just saw that and I'll address that right now. Uh, so anyway, I will post the question. You guys start answering because it, it really helps get everybody going. And as far as our auction goes, originally I told you April 25th at 4 p.m. I totally lied about that too. You can't trust a word that comes out of my mouth. Um, the auction is now May 2nd. There's a reason for it. I needed more time to pull it together. I need more time to get some help because I want this to be top notch for you guys and for us. I really do. Like stuff like this is right up my alley. It's going to be fun. I've got a ton of stuff to auction off. And so, uh, just mark it on your calendar, May 2nd, 4 p.m. MST, 6 p.m. CST, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Time will only be on for maybe an hour and a half to two hours at the very most. I won't keep you, but it will be a lot of fun. I can promise you that. So, oh, it gives the B to mention. Okay, Tony, I will. All right, all right. All right, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Uh, have a great rest of your night, and um, cheers if you're heading into happy hour, and uh, bon appetit if you're going to dinner like I am. Or, or what do you say when you go to the post office? I don't know. All right, see you later. Bye. Love you guys.